going pretty well there until he got into the sixth. And then, I don't know, he kind of took that the ball, that throw off off his head, and I don't know if he was dazed or a little or just annoyed or it, yeah. it just after that maybe he lost a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was really good. I thought his stuff was really good tonight. And really early, I thought it was apparent he had a really good fastball going. I thought he was sharp. Um, but I do, I, I do think he kind of hit a little bit of wall there in that last inning. I thought his stuff fell off just a little bit, probably over trying to overcook some balls. Um, I don't know if it had anything to do with that, but um, I, I do feel like it kind of kind of ran out of steam a little bit there in that sixth inning. Um, but overall, I thought he was really sharp tonight. Bob, to the, to the right. Aaron, with the combination of velocity that Holmes has with, with the movement, can you talk about the difficulty or actually the near impossibility of trying to barrel up on him? Yeah. You know, we see it all the time. You know, we'll see, you know, especially right-handed hitters. You know, I remember there was a at bat a couple of weeks ago with Jose Abreu, 2-0 pitch, and he hits it off the barrel, and it's like 80-mile-an-hour slow ground ball, and he's kind of running down the line like, what just happened? You know, he's just, just so heavy, you know. Um, it's, yeah, it's the best sinker there is going right now. Brandon. I might have one of the thicker skulls in the room, but so when you say that Choi went out before he was announced, he went out to the plate and Cash hadn't told the umpires, yeah, this is our, our guy yet. No, so we went, Matt Blake went out before Choi came out of the dugout, or he might have been, I don't know if he was out of the dugout or not, but he, he went out there to settle him, not to, and then while that was going on and when he was coming back, they announced the pinch hitter. So the pinch hitter then gets announced. So then I wanted to make a change. Thank you. Great. Aaron, you guys have continued to play well at home. How important is that for you guys to kind of establish that, that dominance at home? I mean, it's important to play well, you know, we're, you know, we want to, we want to have a great season and, you know, usually to do that, you got to play well at home, and and certainly we've done that so far. I know our our guys love playing here. Um, you know, the energy. You know, the energy at Yankee Stadium is always good, but it, it does feel like you know, with the start we've gotten off to, it's been there's been a lot of really energetic special nights already uh, for being you know a couple months into the season. Um, it's. Uh, it's a great place to play, and I think our guys are, are really thriving in that and feeding off of, of the energy of this place night in and night out. Uh, Ron. Do you think Higgy gets fired up anymore there when they intentionally walk uh, ahead of him? Uh, I don't know. I mean, sometimes fired up doesn't really help you. You know, it's you got to control the cr control the spot. Sometimes you get fired up, you get yourself in trouble as a hitter. So... Um, you'd have to ask the, him that. Um, yeah. 